Welcome back. This is Jim on Educator.com Lessons on HTML 5.0. I want to briefly describe to you the types of websites okay, with, that you can build using HTML 5.0. Pretty much everything you see on the web, every website, whether it's social media, whether it's e-commerce, everything uses HTML 5.0. So we're going to go over that uh, today. Uh, this lesson, the types of websites, and we're going to discover uh, the different languages of the Internet. What other kind of languages, including HTML 5.0, that are used to build websites? I think that's extremely important for you to know uh, after this lesson if you want to continue your studies and, and develop yourself as a web developer. I think that would be a good idea. But no matter where you go, this is step number one, HTML 5.0 is step number one. So let's go ahead and study the different types of websites. Now this is just kind of a fraction of the types of websites. Everybody has their description on the different types of websites. Okay, uh, I'm going to go over the three most common ones. The first one obviously is the e-commerce websites. Uh, they involve monetary transactions to and from a website. Hopefully a lot of it going from your website into your bank account. And, of course, you will understand that it requires uh, other programming languages, uh, PHP, ASP, okay, and, of course, security is important when it comes to e-commerce. But, again, it's all embedded within the HTML 5.0. With, with HTML 5.0, pretty much set the stage on how everything is going to work. Okay, and then the most popular type of website is a promo website. Pretty much what you see everywhere. Okay, people want to express their businesses, their talents, their skills, their services, their products, whatever they want to promote. Okay, promo websites, a lot of them just basically is simple HTML, and that's it. That's all you really need to do. So, this lesson will do you great if you stick with it and want to do promo websites. And then finally, there's database driven websites. These are, you know, usually involves programming, again, ASP, okay, ASP, PHP, okay, and uh, the most important uh, aspect of this is that it requires user input. So you're asking or prompting the user to enter their name, email, phone number, but it always begins with HTML 5.0. Later in the lessons, we're going to discuss about forms, how to build forms, and, and it really is cool how HTML 5.0 uh, created uh, a new method of form which evolved from HTML 4.0. I think you're going to really enjoy this. And, but anyways, other types of websites there are. Well, let's go over to the next one. The most popular type is a social media website. We've got Twitter, Facebook, Dig, YouTube, MySpace, Flickr. Now we've got Pinterest. Okay, Everything is started with HTML. And from there, the back-end programmers add their little jive inside the programming language, and you've got wonderful dynamic websites like this. And it really is amazing well, where technology has taken us. And I'll tell you this right now, the exciting thing about it is that there's going to be a huge demand for web developers, especially those of HTML 